Alright. I'm sorry, what are these called again? Mint cream. Alrighty. They're kind of like Girl Scout cookies. They're kind of like the the thin mints, but with cream on top. So it's like uh, a thin mint and an after eight together. It does remind me of a thin mint. It's not as good. Not just thin mints, so like a thin mint mixed with a York peppermint patty. If they had a love child, this is what it would be. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. That's exactly what it tastes like. These ones are good. Those are so, so good. You need to, you need to purchase these. I don't know how, and I don't know where, but do it. I will try the famous Tim Tam, Australian Tim Tam, but the white one, never tried, with raspberry. Tim Tams, they're the best. And there's no substitute for quality. That's really good. I like it. I like the raspberry flower. I like white chocolate. So it's perfect. No, I recommend you. It's good. It's true. These are really good. And I don't like white chocolate. But these do the trick. It's a gentle raspberry. It's very nice. I liked it. We should drink them with tea. Or coffee. Because... Once you add the, um, dip it in and that melts the center. I'm going to try the Tim Tam Slam with white chocolate raspberry Tim Tams, which sounds amazing. So you bite off both ends, so you didn't, if you couldn't tell, that's what I was doing. And then you suck up the juice with the Tim Tam. So the Tim Tam itself... It's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of white chocolate, but it does all right. So I sucked it up like it's a straw. It's so gooey. It's like they sucked out the cookie part of it. So you're just eating the chocolate and the raspberry filling. It's pretty good. You can't stop. I found some knockoff Tim Tams called Just Divine. They look like regular Tim Tams, so I hope they taste as good. As a non-native, I can't tell the difference. We'll see if they withstand the Tim Tam Slam as well as actual Tim Tams. It did a good job though. It tastes a lot like a Tim Tam. I would say they taste exactly the same, but I can tell the chocolate isn't isn't as good. Other than the chocolate covering, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's still impressive. I think that both of these, um, generic and the infamous Tim Tam biscuits, are of higher quality than American cookies, and it will be hard to go home. I'm going to eat one Jaffa cake and find out if I like sponge biscuits with um, orange filling and dark chocolate topping. Ooh. I was not expecting that. I like them. They are certainly spongy with the orange filling in the center, so it kind of throws me off. But they taste like orange marmalade on a vanilla wafer that's not crunchy. They're alright. If you like jam, like I could, if you didn't like jam, then you wouldn't like these at all. But it's got orange jam and it has a spongy texture. It's pretty good. They kind of taste like 
an American dessert that you would you would bake yourself. It would take me hours and not be able to bake something that tastes like this. It's like a soft, cakey, almost like a, a lemon cake with chocolate drizzled on it. Very rich. I've heard a lot about Anzac biscuits. Anzacs are Australian and New Zealand fighters in World War I. So I'm guessing this is what they fed the troops to keep them happy. But they look kind of like oatmeal cookies. They're pretty tough. Uh, I don't think that if these are war biscuits, they tasted as good during the war, the servicemen and women. But I like them. They definitely be good in coffee or tea. It seems like they're just like oatmeal and almond cookies. They're not bad. They're not my favorite cookie, but they're fine. Like I could see them be good for like tea dipping. But it's a bit dry, but they're sweet as well. Um, more of like a, a nutty, sweet aroma to them. So the Anzac biscuit with tea, testing my hypothesis. It's really good. It tastes like oatmeal, like the really good kind of oatmeal, not like a trashy in a plastic brown bag instant oatmeal, like actual really good oatmeal.